What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on aspects from uh, exotic astrology and today we will discuss about the special aspects of the planet Saturn. Today is Saturday. Okay, so we should discuss on Saturn, right? And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please do it as soon as possible. Okay, and click in the bell so that you receive the notifications when I upload the videos. Okay. Now Saturn, what is Saturn? Saturn is discipline, duty, structure, commitment, labor, hard work, perseverance, tolerance, ability to digest difficulties, ability to endure suffering. Yes, all these things are represented by Saturn. Okay, Saturn represents the servant class, the working class, the poverty stricken class. Okay, it represents the struggles that we go through in our life. Okay. Now, it is a very karmic planet and that is why it is termed as a natural malefic, okay. Malefic means one who gives you struggles by which you work on yourself, okay. Basically, the malefics show the inner weaknesses of a person. That is why they are known as malefics. <laughs> because people are very much weak in the areas of Saturn, especially discipline, long-term commitment, duty, structure, organization, yes. Today you start going to the gym and tomorrow we don't know where is the gym, right? <laughs> so that is why Saturn is considered to be a malefic. Not that he's a bad planet, but the things which he represents are most difficult to endure. Okay, And endurance itself is represented by Saturn. So I would say you can have a look at my video on Saturn first and then see this video, okay? Otherwise, you will not properly understand what aspects of Saturn do, okay? Now, Saturn has three aspects. First is the third aspect, second is the seventh aspect as usual, and third is the tenth aspect, okay? Now, why is Saturn given the special aspects of three and ten, okay? Because Wherever Saturn is sitting, he will aspect the 3rd house, 7th house and 10th house to bring responsibility there also. Okay. Whichever houses Saturn is ruling, you will have major responsibility in your, li in your life, in this life especially, towards those areas. Okay. Now, what is the third aspect of Saturn? The third, the third house is the significator of courage and hard work. Okay. So, the third house from Saturn where it aspects is representing the house where we have to put huge amounts of effort to make it happen okay to make that house function properly we have to put a lot of courage we have to put a lot of effort okay for example classic example if Saturn is in the fifth house okay <laughs> it aspects the seventh house so there will be a lot of duty structure commitment regularity discipline okay required in the marriage marriage is the seventh house okay and at the same time if saturn is seated in the seventh house it will aspect the ninth house with the third aspect yes then you will require a lot of duty and structure and commitment towards the house of religion spirituality okay that is how saturn functions okay and the other special aspect is the 10th aspect, okay. Now, what is the 10th aspect? 10th aspect is the aspect of karma because 10th house is the house of karma. Your actions, it is the original zodiac sign of Capricorn, right? Number 10. So, and 10 and 11 also. Now, 10th house from Saturn, it will put its eyes, okay. It will try to glance at that house, okay. Now, what happens is, the 10th house is the significator of karma. So, in this life, majority portion of our actions will be concentrated towards that house where the 10th aspect of Saturn is falling. Okay, that is very important to know. For example, if Saturn is sitting in the 12th house, the 10th aspect, which is 12th from the 12th, uh, which is 10th from the 12th, is the 9th house. Okay, so the 9th house will be a very prominent house in our life. Okay, because that will involve a lot of actions from our side okay saturn will force us to work towards that area okay especially the ninth house because the twelfth house has saturn from there it is aspecting the ninth house okay now what does aspects of saturn especially mean okay now here we have to understand 
whichever how Saturn is aspecting, irrespective of the third or seventh or tenth aspect. Okay, seventh aspect is general. Okay, and whichever house it is aspecting, okay, it will bring commitment and structure to that house. For example, if Saturn is seated in the tenth house, okay, it will aspect the twelfth house, fourth house, and the seventh house. Okay. So it will bring you tremendous responsibility towards managing your savings. Okay. You might have a lot of expenses and Saturn will force you that you have to have control over your expenses. And then it will aspect the fourth house. So you have to bring a lot of discipline in your home. Otherwise your home will not function properly. And then it will aspect the seventh house of marriage from the tenth house. That means it will bring tremendous structure, duty, commitment towards the marriage okay now we have to understand the aspects in a proper for example if the houses have an aspect from saturn there can be some delays pertaining to that house okay for example if saturn is in the uh, 10th house aspecting the 7th house we can understand that our marriage might be delayed okay and this is also true if Saturn is aspecting any other planet, okay, especially planet like Venus or the seventh lord, okay. Suppose Saturn is in the sixth house, okay, and your Venus is placed in the eighth house or twelfth house. Then what it means? Then it simply means that Venus is being aspected by Saturn, okay. So then the traits of Saturn will come to that planet also, even if even if it is not a house it is still a planet okay so, and venus is the natural significator of marriage so whenever saturn will aspect venus saturn will try to impart its qualities into venus okay which means what the person can the wife or the husband because venus represents the spouse he can have traits of saturn or you might need to find traits of saturn in the husband or spouse to make the marriage work okay so what happens when i'll just give one example of venus because that's what everybody wants to know right <laughs> so when saturn aspects venus it has many meanings it depends on the dignity of the individual planets how saturn and venus are placed okay in the signs which houses okay and it also depends on which houses they are ruling are they benefics for that house or for that lagna or are they malefics for that lagna okay about which we will discuss later functional malefics functional benefics okay now suppose saturn is aspecting venus then what happens the traits of saturn which means what old age responsibility duty commitment structure delay all these things can come into the uh, life partner okay which means you might have situations in your life because of which you have to uh, choose a person who is older than you okay who is elder to you or saturn also represents the poverty stricken class so it means not that your wife will be in poverty <laughs> it simply means that your wife can be from a family status which is lower than yours okay or she can be a bit darker in appearance or even though she is looking good but she can look very much mature okay she can look very serious okay and she will not be very flamboyant she will be a bit serious and she will be bit withdrawing from the nature okay depends on so many other factors if venus is with mercury this will change okay but if venus is alone with aspect of saturn on him then these traits can be there and it also means that <clears throat> in the initial phases of your life you might face challenges in relationships your relationships might undergo difficulties and there can be breaks within relationships okay breaks not because you are not meant to be to together it simply means that there are certain lessons karmic lessons which you are supposed to learn because saturn is the significator of karmic lessons also so there can be certain lessons which saturn is trying to teach you when saturn aspects venus okay similarly when saturn aspects sun the person can feel very low about himself or the moon also and similarly when saturn aspects mars the person becomes very hard working so we will discuss individually the effects of saturn and the other planets 
later but as of now i'm just saying for example suppose saturn is sitting in the fourth house okay then it will aspect the sixth house of discipline of health so you will realize in this life that to maintain your health you have to do a lot of hard work why because from the fourth house saturn also aspects the first house with the tenth aspect that means there will be a lot of effort which you will need to put to improve your health or your appearance okay and from there saturn is also aspecting the 10th house okay with the seventh aspect which also means that at times your workplace will demand a lot of hard work effort and commitment duty structure and along with that you have to work on your looks also by looks i don't mean you have to look like a model but you have to be presentable at the workplace you have to make sure your clothes are well well dressed now they are neat and clean they are ironed properly or if they say you have to shave every day then you have to shave or if they say that you have to be on time on this time every day then you have to be there okay <laughs> and if certain aspects the lagna then the person can be look a bit more mature he can look a bit elder than what he is actually okay he can look a bit more senior than his actual age okay and he can be a bit withdrawing in nature he 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 will not be very flamboyant okay like mercury venus okay and then if uh, saturn is aspecting rahu okay then this depending on the position of rahu and saturn this can cause either good effects to rahu or bad effects okay on a worst side this can lead to addiction saturn and rahu aspecting each other or on a good side the person can be very much grounded re related to his illusions okay the person will be not be too much in the air because rahu likes to be in the air okay rahu is illusion is the cloud but saturn will now suppress rahu okay so that's how you have to see you cannot interpret the saturn's aspect on any planet or any house to be good or bad you have to know that by knowing which is the house where saturn is placed which is the sign where saturn is placed accordingly the results of the aspects will modify okay for example let me give an example if suppose somebody is a libra ascendant libra ascendant means saturn is the ruler of the fourth house and the fifth house now suppose this saturn for a libra ascendant is placed in the fourth house itself okay then what will happen it is aspecting the 10th house the 6th house and the lagna as i said from the 4th house so all those things which i just said about saturn in the 4th aspecting the 6th 10th and the 1st house will hold true but here because saturn is ruling the 4th house and 5th house you will realize that these traits of the 4th house of of primary education and 5th house of higher education okay will play in the areas of the 6th house 10th house and the 1st house because now saturn has the rulership of two houses of education okay so it will when it is aspecting some house apart from being the significator of hard work and difficulties and struggles it will impart the qualities of those two houses also which it is ruling okay that means for a libra ascendant saturn from the 4th house aspects the 1st house what it means that the persons one of the important things which he will be doing in this life is matters related to education okay because saturn is the fourth and the fifth lord here because the sign of capricorn and aquarius falls in the fourth and fifth house okay and similarly if he is aspecting from the fourth the sixth house of discipline okay then it will also show that he will have to use lot of knowledge and education to help him discipline himself okay and it will aspect the 10th house okay that means lot of matters of education will come to the 10th house okay aspect is like a light which you are throwing okay that means what in his workplace he might have to deal with matters of education fourth house fifth house matters both are matters of education or property land real estate all these things or creativity okay all these things so that is what i want to say that don't just see saturn aspecting this house from there this house from there this house from there no it's not like that you have to see which house saturn is ruling so i gave you an example and similarly for a taurus ascendant 
certain rules the ninth house and the tenth house and suppose it is placed in the tenth house then it will aspect the fourth house so lot of focus on religion spirituality you know, and work will come to the fourth house of home and on the seventh house of marriage and in the twelfth house of savings okay because this is like ninth lord aspecting the fourth seventh and the twelfth okay so the qualities of the ninth house of spirituality will come there but it will be of very much discipline work structure and commitment okay so this is how you have to study aspects of saturn okay and if saturn is in the lagna itself it will aspect the third seventh and the tenth house okay and if suppose the person is a capricorn ascendant with saturn in the first house in capricorn itself then his focus will be imparting the things of the first house and second house into the third seventh and tenth house okay and saturn primarily although it is the ascendant lord but aquarius is the multricorn sign so saturn is more of aquarius than capricorn okay so the traits of second house will be more prominent for a capricorn ascendant with saturn in the first house okay so basically he will uh, be very courageous towards money okay and his looks okay because third house is the house of courage and he will have a lot of influences related to money okay when it comes to marriage okay and also in the 10th house of career he can do some family business okay which is coming from the family okay or his family might help him to get a job okay <laughs> understanding no? this is how it happens and this is how you see how saturn will behave and saturn wherever it aspects and just remember wherever saturn will aspect it will subdue that house that is why in scriptures the placement which is considered best for saturn apart from the seventh house where it obtains directional strength we will discuss about it later one of the best placements of saturn is the sixth house okay because sixth house is the only house from which it aspects all the other malefic houses okay for example if somebody has saturn in the sixth house it will aspect the 8th house, the 12th house and the 3rd house. Which means what? It will subdue the 6, 8, 12 and 3rd houses. Okay. All these 4 are considered difficult houses. Okay. So now, when Saturn looks at the 12th house, it will subdue the expenses. So that's good. When it looks to the 8th house of death, it will prolong your life. That is excellent. When it looks to, to the 3rd house of courage, it gives you more courage. Yes. Or it will give you more power to work with discipline towards courage which is good which is required in these days right because these days of life is tough of course it was tough earlier also but these days also it is getting really more tougher every day every moment people are getting fired from jobs robots are replacing human beings and then government order is also not very cooperative and supportive so that's it from my side aspects of saturn Wherever Saturn is sitting, just see the 3rd, the 7th and the 10th house from there and consider the placement of Saturn in whichever house it is, whichever sign it is and whichever houses it is ruling because it will carry the flavors of that house which it is ruling. Okay, And resources is the placement of the planet itself as I had shared in my earlier video on house lords versus tenants so if you have not watched them then please go back and watch all the other videos and before ending i will end by saying god is there with you just look to him and he'll be there to protect you and empower you from the different aspects of saturn okay until next time bye bye see you